I'm Lavel Labi. I'm the CTO of Kudubais. So with Kudubais, uh, what we aim to do is to help small and medium businesses grow their business, mainly through reviews. So we do this in a smart way by aggregating reviews from uh, multiple review channels uh, to, uh, for the companies and we push these uh, reviews out to search engines to grow their business organically. So that's what. Okay, so for the milestones, we have put the user milestones and the revenue milestones. We meet in both of them. Uh, currently, we have over 10,000 businesses using our, our, our platform. And we have uh, some time back. Uh, we may cross our revenue, our revenue milestone of about $15,000. That was uh, some about three months back. Yeah, so ever since the time has been growing much more. One of the main challenges is one looking for the right talent. That's people who are willing to learn. And two, I'll be mainly the infrastructure, but since we're here, it's not really quite a problem. Yes, and three, most of the times when people get to know the service is coming from Africa or Ghana, it's either they cancel the service just because of uh, their own personal reasons. So that's been a major challenge for us. We want to support to help us uh, grow our idea and to make it into a company. When we came to the incubator, we came with other teams and each one is motivated by what the other one is doing. So you look at the company next to you, they are meeting your milestones, they stay up late, putting efforts into their way. And I mean, that's me. The main primary thing that uh, uh, I would say has really helped us. Secondly, the team in the incubator, they've really been of much help, uh, introductions, uh, doing researches, yeah, so I think it's really been beneficial. We'll still be uh, together, like trying to start a company. But I'm sure we would have faced like lots more challenges because of power, because of internet, the resources, manpower. We applied for 500 startups because we, we, were, we had validated our idea, we knew it was a, a business, so we wanted to grow it and also to uh, try and uh, raise some funding if possible. Uh, when we got there, we kind of like almost doubled our revenue at the end of the program. So I'll kind of say we kind of grew our business whilst we were there and we got exposed to uh, a lot of other good uh, engineers as, as well. And we met a couple of investors. We haven't closed any round yet, but I mean we talks because uh, the program just ended about some few weeks ago. We really want to take uh, Kudubas to the next level, like we want to grow it, so we want to show other people that, that it's possible to start your own company from Africa. So we are uh, looking at making a change in like uh, Ghana, maybe the African scene. When I was growing up, I didn't like the idea of working for someone. And also, I mean, there were so many problems and I wouldn't like, I'd love to always wake up and necessarily wear a shirt and do the same uh, thing over and over again. So I was like, why don't I try and, and be nosy? So I mean, that's, that's how I found out. Sometimes some people, somewhere along the, the line, give up. But what I would say is they shouldn't give up. I think in everything it's kind of like sometimes it takes patience. I remember when we started, 
initially when we were about charging, we were thinking, was anyone even going to source his credit card into our system? And I remember the first month we made like $15 and we were so happy. And we, we didn't know we'd get to a time when maybe you see people paid every minute and it doesn't really take all year. Like, so I think like they should never give up and they would uh, surely be able to solve the problems they want to solve.